Good morning everybody, what's happening? Welcome down to a brand new vlog right here on Theme Park Insanity. So it's been literally a week since we were here last and you'd be amazed at just how much has taken place right here at Flamingo Land and of course you can see behind me if you've been watching our updates on the page that's the steel tr structure that's kind of going in. Uh, now we've been chatting to several people it appears that a lot of people are pointing towards that being a merch store or something like that again no official confirmation there but yeah it's great to see them installing yet more buildings and obviously preparing the area but yeah so much has happened since we were here last week uh, there's been a lot of change we've obviously we've seen the train move off the transfer track which if i just spin you guys around there now that was it behind me obviously where the little dip is in velocity there's literally nothing there now so it's currently sat in the station uh, unfortunately obviously i can't show you guys shots of that because it is it's out of reach but yeah regardless it is sat in there it's waiting and potentially over the next couple of weeks maybe we could actually start seeing this ride finally testing but absolutely amazing anyway come join me as i take a walk around and show you guys exactly what's happening here on the site of inversion so let's start here with the brand new structure that is actually currently going into place and as you can see there it's a framework for a building of sorts now let's just have a bit of a zoom in if i can do the fence is currently in the way obviously so i'll do the best i possibly can do for you guys there but there's a lot of work going in they've literally dug out those foundations they're putting the steel supports that has literally gone in that as it is over the space of two days which i mean work-wise for the guys up here at flamingo land is absolutely incredible it really is and it's safe to say and fair to say that, you know, these guys are really, really working hard now uh, to get this brand new ride going. Um, there's a lot happening, not even just here, you know, obviously around near the queue line, putting in brand new paving. Uh, lots of planting has gone in. It's amazing how much they've actually done of that. And as you can see as well, no train on the transfer tracks, as I've just said. So, yeah, it looks like what we've seen, obviously, a shot of the inside of the station from uh, where Velocity's queue line is. That Obviously, that ride now has the train ready on the tracks at the bottom of the lift. And yeah, I would imagine that very, very soon I'm going to start testing this brand new ride, which again, you know, we want it to happen for a very, very long time. But yeah, great progress over this side of the ride. Anyway, let's take a walk around to the other side and let's go see what's happening over there. Okay, so as we're taking a walk around, let's discuss when we think this ride's going to open. Now, a lot of rumours, as they continue to be, are pointing towards a late June slash early July for this ride to open. And when I've spoken to several different sources, they've all confirmed the exact same thing, that this is indeed the projected opening that they're working towards as of the, well, as of today. Um, and a lot of the current work will point towards that, and obviously you can see just how much has actually taken place here on the site of inversion but great to see them finally progressing with this ride uh, and actually getting to a point where we're near enough ready to open it which you know would be amazing everybody's dying to get on it myself included and uh yeah it's going to be great to finally experience it for myself obviously later this year a little bit out of breath this morning because i've had a big breakfast so uh <laughs> which is always a good thing but yeah it's really really exciting times but what could this kind of bring in terms of a future for the park? Well, there are rumours again that this is part of a long-term investment plan of over 10 years, and this brand new ride is currently the start of that investment plan. So what could that mean for future investments moving forward from this? Well, we would anticipate that with Flamingo Line kind of going down the thrill market, as they currently are, a lot of their rides here are obviously thrill rides, which, you know, is a great thing because like Water Valley, obviously now is focusing more on the families. So potentially more thrill rides, more thrilling flat rides, more thrill coasters, uh, and just basically stuff like that as well. But it is good to see them moving down this direction. It's good to see them finally investing, uh, and securing the future of the park as well for all those that visit. Anyway, let's take a look and see exactly what's happening on the site from this angle.
So as you've seen, a lot of the landscaping now has been completed. They've installed those plants, they've put the gravel down right across the site. Uh, so a lot of that's happening. And to be fair, in terms of sort of stage-wise, I think we're probably nearing completion on that aspect of the construction because a lot has taken place over the last week. It's amazing just how much has actually changed since we were here last week. And on the far side of the site over there as well, other than sort of planting, etc., there's not a massive amount to really show you guys, but um, obviously there is that cladding on the building. There isn't any other buildings at the moment that kind of have that cladding but as you can see from behind me there the entire station is covered in scaffolding so that does make me wonder if we are going to be seeing this type of cladding going in right across the site on other buildings as well but yeah they've literally got so much done over the last week and it's incredible to see all this work finally progressing at the rate that it currently is okay so let's talk about the path that's leading down under the ride and obviously as you've seen you will be going from one side over near where the uh, Zanzibar Plaza is right through to the other side uh, and now obviously where you can see that velocity tunnel just over in the distance there but a lot of people People obviously said that it's quite a long way down and obviously it's quite a deep and obviously they hope that it's properly uh, sort of you know installed with drainage etc but you can see there that obviously that has been done so anything like this you know they've got set standards to meet and it needs to be safe to walk down up under if it rains obviously there needs to be adequate drainage to be able to take all that excess water away and you can see that they've actually installed that so it's going to be safe to say that regardless of how much it rains down here you know it is going to be getting drained out but still a lot of work going on there you can see obviously you know some of the pipe work coming up out of the ground there not too sure exactly what that's for excuse me um and in terms of the lake area as well the pond area at the other side there are still currently working on that too uh, but there's been a lot of you know sort of gravel etc put down in there they've really lined the bottom of that pond now um and you know overall we are getting to a stage where i think that probably that bit of the area is complete but you also notice that there's a lot of soil here as well um, so whether they're going to be putting grass down etc on there just to make it look a little bit more you know sort of like nice and a little bit more modern you know we don't know at the moment but we would hope they would at least do something with that just to make it a little bit more you know sort of presentable for when the ride does open. So that about wraps it up for another construction update here at Flamingo Land Resort and as you've seen a lot has taken place over the last couple of weeks or indeed over the last week alone really to be fair um, and then moving to a stage of completion we'd imagine from what we've seen with all the landscaping all of these sort of aesthetic kind of things with the ride I mean obviously there's still probably work to go on in the building and outside it as well but it's great to see that kind of reaching that stage now obviously the next stage will be testing the ride and speaking to various different people we've heard that obviously they need to do another track inspection in order to do that obviously check for a hairline fracture and all that sort of thing just to make sure that the ride is safe and ready to operate when it does but the train is now in the station which is a really positive sign um, and we will be watching this space literally over the next couple in, coming weeks um, now do obviously stay tuned across our social media for updates particularly on Facebook because that is where we post a lot of the stuff but for now guys I really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please consider subscribing turn on those notifications and again if you've always enjoyed it leave us a like and let us know we really appreciate it but are you excited for the brand new ride here at Flamingo Land are you be making the trip when it finally opens let me know in the comments below guys and for now i'm joe this is theme park insanity and i will see you very soon indeed take care bye bye